Brothers and sisters, grace and peace to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach. To we all give all honor, glory, and praise. Thank you for giving me another day to live and to serve you. And I'm praying that people will repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for you. He shed his blood for you. Uh, the Most High loved us so much that he gave his only son to save us to redeem us. That's how much he loved each and every one of you. And whether or not you believe it or not, or if you care, he still loves you. If you are alive today, he still loves you. He has grace for you. And he desires for us to come back to him and, and live for him and to serve him and to help other people get out of this world of darkness, come out of Babylon and come back to the Father. The one, your first love, the one who loved you before even your own mother loved you. All right, Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, the life. There is nobody that comes to the Father but through him, only through his name, Yahusha HaMashiach, Jesus, that you are saved. Hallelujah. I just wanted to go over a scripture today here in this study, Bible study from Galatians 5, and it's through 14. And it says, I'm going to start over here on, uh, I'll start at verse 1. And I'll read all the way to about 15, okay? So it says, preserve your freedom. Freedom is what we have. Christ has set us free. Stand then as free people and do not allow yourselves to become slaves again. Listen, I'll Paul tell you that if you all allow yourselves to be circumcised, it means that Christ is no, no use to you at all. Once more, I warn any man who also allows himself to be circumcised that is ob obligate to obey the law those of you who try to be put right with god by obeying the law have cut yourselves off from christ you are outside of god's grace as for us our hope is in that god will put us right with him and this is what we wait for by the power of god's spirit working through our faith for when we are in union with christ jesus neither circumcision nor the lack of makes any difference at all. What matters is faith that works through love. You were doing well, so well. Who made you stop obeying the truth? How did you persuade you? It was not done by God who calls you. It takes only a little yeast to make the whole batch of dough rise, as they say, but I still feel confident. Um, I still feel confident about you. Our life in union with the Lord makes us makes me more confident that you will not take a different view and that whoever is upsetting you will be punished by God. There were people trying to tell people they needed to be uh, circumcised and be saved, and they were trying to go against the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But Paul was assuring them, don't believe in that stuff. Don't fall for it. You know, keep your faith. Stay um, through faith through Jesus Christ is what saves us, right? not through circumcision of the flesh, right? But as for me, my friends, I continue to preach that circumcision is necessary while I'm still being persecuted. If that were true, then my preaching about the cross of Christ would cause no trouble. I wish that the people who are upsetting you would go all the way. Let them go on and castrate themselves. Let them cut themselves up, he's saying. As for you, my friends, you are called to be free. But do not let this freedom become an excuse for letting your physical desires control you. He's trying to tell people, don't be lawless. Don't let, because of your, your grace through faith, don't let that use you as a as a pass to continue doing wickedness and, and letting your flesh control you, right? Instead, let the love make you serve one another. For the whole law is summed up in one commandment. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. But if you act like wild animals hurting and harming each other, then watch out or you will completely destroy one another. So what he was saying is that we as being believers in Christ, right? If we have faith in Christ, then we need to fulfill uh, the requirement of staying in love because Christ commands us to love our neighbors as ourselves. Love him with all your, if you love him with all your heart, soul, mind, then you will love your neighbor as yourself. Right. He's made in the image of the most high. So we ha when we look at these things, we have to evaluate our walk in our lives each day to make sure that our hearts are right and that we are really uh, seeking to do the best and to pray for and hope for the best for each person that we encounter 
throughout our lives, no matter who we see, even on TV, even people that we don't like, we may not agree with, we may not approve of, but if you are in Christ, you must seek the best interests of those people in love, standing firm on the word of God, not compromising it, not becoming lawless, not becoming uh, following traditions of man or or using um, uh, man standards um, as your reference, but also but but only using the reference of the most high through the word of God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, by being led by the one Holy Spirit, the true spirit of the living, true God, which is through our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach. All glory and honor and praises to the Most High Yah. And I want to give a shout out to my brothers at Men of Majesty, uh, Men of Majesty and Fit to Fight for Christ. I love each and every one of you and everyone out there that's serving the Lord and, and, and doing their thing and, and trying to lead people out of darkness and out of Babylon. This is my salute to you guys as well. I love each and every one of you. Grace and peace. You have a wonderful day today and have peace. Seek peace and seek love with one another. Don't look for envy or jealousy. Seek love. Seek the best interests of people. That's what you do today and every single day. Um, this is Brother Ray here. Grace and peace to y'all. Till next time. Shalom. Peace.